Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details and I'm at the car wash and I wanted to do a quick video sharing with you guys for any of you that have your vehicle ceramic coated and you ask me the question, how do I maintain it? Is it safe to take my ceramic coated vehicle through the car wash? I want to share with you guys my technique. I have a graphene coating on my Subaru Outback. I'm going to look like a weirdo. I'm going to get out, show you guys the condition of my vehicle, and then I'm going to go through the non-touch. You can see here, we've got some options at the car wash that's near me. We have the bays that you can do it yourself. We have the soft touch and we have the non-touch. First and foremost, if you're going to take your car through the car wash, please go through the non-touch. Do not go through, even if it says soft touch, it's not soft. It's little shards of glass and rock that are all over those blades. There's no way they can clean them off completely. You don't know if the vehicle before you was a salt truck, for all you know, or a construction vehicle that was completely caked in mud and all of that debris is going to end up on the bristles. Even if they rinse it down, there's no way they're going to get everything off. So just do yourself a favor, especially if you've paid for paint correction or want to maintain the finish on your vehicle go through the non-touch automatic car wash now they do have very high ph soaps around 12 some even 13 on the ph scale which is a very strong alkaline a lot of ceramic coatings are built to be chemically resistant but they might start to break down around that 12 13 mark on the ph scale so you don't want to go through a lot of times but if you do you want to make sure that you use using a proper topper to replenish the coating because you are going to weaken it let's say you get a two to three year ceramic coating you might get a year and a half to two years versus that maximum three years but if you maintain it properly and i'll show you guys how i maintain it when i'm done well, let me show you the condition of my vehicle and then we're going to go through the non-touch car wash because I got to get the undercarriage, get all that done. And honestly, I got some errands to run. I don't have time to be dealing with the, the bays. That's a video for another day, but let me show you what we have going on and how I take care of my vehicle at the car wash. All right, so before someone pulls up and I look like a complete weirdo, you can see we've got a lot of salt. My tires, wheels, everything. I just need to get all of this off. As soon as the vehicle gets wet, that salt is going to start going after all the metals that are underneath my undercarriage and on the paint, and it's going to start kind of attacking it. So it is very crucial that especially if you have a ceramic coated vehicle, you want to try to get that salt off there as quick as possible. I've been a little negligent. I've had a lot of details this week and just time in life. I mean, take a look at that. That's so gross. I don't want to deal with that. I honestly don't want to deal with it in my driveway either because I had a customer's vehicle and uh, I had to wash it and my driveway was a sheet of ice because we've been in the 20s this week. So we're going to go ahead, get this baby cleaned through the non-touch and then I'll show you guys the next steps. That guy was behind me and the line was getting too long so he went over to the soft touch. Boy, is he going to regret that decision. Well, job security. All right, one step closer. So I'm always a sucker for the color foam and also <laughs> the rim cleanse. But honestly, for a majority of people, the classic wash is all you're going to need, especially if you have a ceramic coated vehicle. Because essentially, you just need that undercarriage to be cleaned. You need the high pressure soak. Uh, rinse and then the high power dry you're going to get a majority of the water off of your vehicle with the high power dry so that's a great option but honestly you can go with any of them but i like the high power dry that's going to get your vehicle dry a lot faster and then from there you can use the product that i'm going to share with you as a drying aid don't go backwards don't go backwards you're about to get a honk. These crazy people. If only they had a ceramic coating on their vehicle, they wouldn't have that problem. So this car wash does a decent job. I was getting the $12 one, but apparently I paid for the person in front of me, so now I'm just getting a classic car wash. <laughs> <laughs> Such is my lot in life. <laughs> Note to self, make sure the garage bay doors are closed completely before you start to pay for your transaction. <laughs> what a day.
so we just got done with the car wash and it actually turned out pretty good. I am happy with the end result as far as what we were able to do with no contact whatsoever. But now we just need to kind of refine it, finish drying it off. You have those little bit of a annoying water spots left behind. And a lot of times when you go through the non-touch, there might be a light layer of film left behind. That's just kind of typical. So I'm going to share with you guys how I remove that light layer of film safely and, and also why at the same time you're going to replenish your protection for your ceramic coating. So essentially you can use a plush microfiber like this. You actually don't need to have a huge drying towel. If you have a ceramic coated vehicle, majority of that water is going to blow off from the blower. But what all you need is just kind of two soft plush microfibers. These are just a mixture that I have from anywhere from luxury microfiber to uh, I believe these are the mother fluffer from rag company or auto fiber. But Autofiber is a fantastic website that you can purchase safe drying towels from. I highly recommend the Amphibian. They even smell sp smaller ones. But then you can use a product like this. Now this is from Extreme Solutions, their company out in New Jersey. Phenomenal prices, exceptional products. Their guys, the customer service that you get from them is really top notch. This is their topper. This is essentially a product that you can use to top any protection that's on your vehicle, whether it be wax, sealant, graphene coating, ceramic coating, titanium coating. This is a universal topper, hence the name, that you can put on your vehicle. It's going to, one, add amazing gloss, slickness, and, and just shine to the vehicle. It's going to replenish your protection, and it also gives you that extra lubrication that you're looking for when it comes to drying your vehicle safely. So essentially, we're just going to go around the vehicle, spray a couple sprays on each panel, dry the vehicle like we would if we were drying it after washing it but there's going to be far less water and so because we have this product here and the plush microfiber we're able to safely dry replenish our coating and just give fantastic gloss and shine at the end so i'm going to go do that real quick there's a couple people staring at me right now so i'm not going to necessarily bring the camera out while i'm doing it i just wanted to explain to you guys what my process will be you can use a lot of different toppers that are on the market anywhere from ethos defy uh, ethos Resist. If you have their graphene coating, even Turtle Wax has their brand new Flex um, graphene spray wax. There's, I mean, a majority of products. I'm trying to think of some other ones that might work well with ceramic coatings. I know the specific company that you purchase your ceramic coating from will have a recommended topper, but I like this because it's universal, it's affordable, it's very easy to use, and it gives a fantastic end result. So I'll put the link for this down below, as well as the drying towels or even just auto fiber. Make sure you just check their whole website out. They have fantastic products from wash mitts, drying towels, um, applicators, uh, microfibers to clean the interior, ply coatings, everything you could think of, they have it there um, in Extreme Solutions. So I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, here's our end result using the topper as a drying aid and our plush microfiber vehicle looks like i just spent an hour detailing it so when you have a ceramic coated vehicle it's going to be a lot easier maintenance for you but if you want to get the most out of your ceramic coating there's certain things that you want to do just to one safely dry it so that way you prevent scratches being induced in the paint and to replenish the coating if you do have to take it through an automatic car wash. So I hope this helps some of you guys out with that question of how to maintain your vehicle, especially a ceramic coated vehicle, at the car wash in the winter time. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. But thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. And like I said, we'll link up those products in the video description box. But for now, we're gonna keep moving. It is freaking cold outside, and that guy next to me just keeps staring at me, so. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.